is Miss Shelley, and I'm going to give you your lesson for today. Today's lesson, the title is Believing Without Seeing. It's a short lesson today, but it's a powerful lesson. It's all about faith. Do you know what faith is? Faith is exactly what the title is called, Believing Without Seeing. Our scripture is going to come through Hebrews. This is the memory verse, the 11th chapter, verse 1, and it says, Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. We believe that God created the heavens and the earth, right? We also believe that Jesus was born in the manger. We just celebrated Christmas. We also believe that Jesus grew up to be a strong, mighty man, a man that was able to do miracles, wonders, right? We believe that. How do we believe those things and why do we believe those things? It's because God's holy word. Because God inspired several people, prophets, people, ordinary people to write certain things in the Bible because they were there. They were able to witness all of God's and Jesus' miracles. We weren't able to see it, but we still believe it. That's called faith. The scriptures, there are several scriptures, and I want you to be able to read these scriptures. Ask your parents to be uh, to help you sit down and you can read this. The scriptures come from Hebrews, the 11th chapter, verse 1 through 3, then verse 8, then verse 23, verse 31 through 34, 39 through 40. Please read those scriptures because you'll be able to understand this lesson really, really good. Before we read a little bit more about the story, let's go ahead and go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for this day that you have made, this, this day that you have created for us to live in. Be with us as we learn this lesson. Help us to learn it so much that we're able to tell other people about faith. We thank you so much for all your many blessings. We thank you for allowing us to see 2024, a new year, a new beginning. Give us what we need, God, this year to be able to be stronger followers of Christ. This is your son, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. This lesson is about faith. God wants us to have faith in him. Like I said in the beginning, we believe that God created the heavens and the earth. We have evidence of that today. We see trees. We see flowers. We see birds. We see animals. We see Cows, we see dogs, we see cats, we see animals everywhere. We see the little bitty ants, we see the little bitty bugs, we see bats, we see bees, we see all those things. And we believe God created those things. Do you have a mirror somewhere nearby? If you have a mirror, pick up that mirror and look at you. You see you? God created you. He created Adam and Eve. And become because they were our ancestors, people that was created by God. They're our ancestors, people that lived long, long ago. They are our ancestors. Those people believed in God. And because they believe, we shall also believe. Because the Bible says so. You know, this, uh, the song, Jesus loves me, this I know for the Bible tells me so. The Bible is full of people that have faith in God. And because they believe, we also believe. I'm pretty sure you have a parent, a grandma, or somebody who believes in God. They have faith in God. Even before things happen, they have faith that God is going to provide for us. You should have faith in God that if you're in school, you should have faith that you're going to pass that test. You should have faith that you're going to pass your grade to be able to go to another school or another grade. You need to have faith and belief in God that he's going to take care of you. Have faith. There's one activity that's in the book. It says, have faith. We see with our eyes, but we have to believe in our heart. Believe it that it will come true because we have faith in God. I'm going to read a little bit of the lesson. It says, our faith helps us to be sure of things we hope for and know that something is real, even though we cannot see it. Faith helps us know that God's command created the world. In Genesis, ask your parents to read Genesis to you. 
God created the heavens and the earth. And it tells you in detail how God did it. Now, there's several people in the Bible that have faith in God. And because they have faith in God, a lot of wonderful things happen. Moses, Moses' parents have faith in God. And they put Moses in a basket to be able to live, to be able to save the Israelites. We also have people in the Bible, David. David had faith in God that he can kill Goliath. They are several kings and queens in the Bible that they had faith because they had faith in God. They was able to accomplish so much for so much more. And that's what God wants from us. He wants us to have faith so we can believe in him and accomplish so much more. Trust, belief, and faith. That's what we're learning about today. And that's what God wants you to have. And because our ancestors that are in the Bible, or even the ancestors in your family that trusted in God, because of them, we also should have faith. We might not can see certain things. We might not can tell the future, but we have faith that God is going to be there. This lesson is about faith. In your script, in your lesson, um, Thursday, it says faith. F is for forever. A is always. I is I will. T is for trust, and H is Him. Forever, always, I will trust in Him, and Him is God. There's another song that I used to sing at our church. It's trust and obey for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. We got to trust and obey in God. This year in 2024, we got to put our faith in God that everything is going to be okay. You might have some issues in school. You might even have some issues at home. But we have to trust in God that he's going to take care of those things for us this year. The motto of this year is do more in 2024. I'll challenge you to do more in 2024. Be able to trust in God more in 2024. Be able to uh Finish projects that you might have in 2024. Invite people to church in 2024. Just do more. And if you do more, you'll be able to build your faith in God because you trust in him. I encourage you to come to Sunday school on Sunday so you can learn more about this lesson that I'm telling you today. We have Sunday school each Sunday at the Louisville campus at 10 o'clock. You'll be able to be with your, your peers, your other kids to be able to learn more about faith. So I encourage you this year in 2024, not even just listen to the lessons online, but to come to Children's Church to be able to learn more. I challenge you this year to do more in 2024 as a follower of Christ. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, we thank you for this lesson that we learn about faith. Help us to learn about our ancestors that were in the Bible that trusted in you. Because they trusted in you, help us to trust in you too. Give us what we need, God, to be able to be stronger, wiser Christians this year. Help us to have more faith and trust in you, God. Because we want to have trust and faith in you. Help us just to build on it more this year in 24. Thank you. In this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, come to Saint School. Learn more about who God is. Learn more about who Jesus is so you can accept him in your heart. It is awesome to know who Jesus is and to have personal relationship with him. Just like you have a relationship with your friend. God wants you to be his friend. God wants you to trust in him. So I hope you understand the lesson, and I hope I see you soon on campus, 10 o'clock at the Louisville campus. Have faith in God more in 2024. I see you soon. Bye.